Hey everyone, um, this is your gastric balloon patient in Deutschland. I am just um, giving you an update on my status. I currently weigh 144.4 pounds, so I am just six ounces shy of losing uh, 30 pounds. I'm also just a few weeks shy of um, hitting my six month mark with my balloon, and I am very happy with my results. I would have been happy with these results um, if I could have only had my balloon for six months and knowing that I have another six months left of having my balloon um, could really bring me down to the 25% body mass index or below. Um, currently I am at 28 body mass index and I'm happy with it. I'll take it. Um, I know that I've um, had my fair share of just struggles and issues, and I know that you all have seen a part of that, but at this point, I am just stoked about where I am. So, with that said, um, I wanna talk to you about uh, just some trials and tribulations that uh, many of us have throughout this process. Um, doubts, uh, overeating, um, uh, just moments of what have I done? Is this even working? So I've definitely had my fair share of that, and um, here we go. So as far as feeling like I'm not losing enough, I definitely felt that way, especially in the beginning, and I um, opted to have my balloon adjusted. Um, with the SPATS 3, I'm able to do that, which I'm very happy with. Um, and since then, I have lost um, steadily, just as I already was. So here's the deal with that. Uh, I felt like I stopped losing weight just at mid-December and um, I really had to be very careful about what I ate and not let myself uh, overeat at times where um, I felt like my balloon just wasn't working. I just as easily could have overeaten at any of those moments, but I stuck to a low um, calorie uh, diet. Um, I didn't I didn't keep like I didn't keep myself from eating um, just anything. I didn't go on like a strict strict diet, but I kept my calories low. So a um, thousand calories or less usually stuck to around 800, um, 700 to 800 calories a day, and um, that helped kick me back into a mode where my balloon um, helped fill me up a little bit. So since at that point, when I felt that way, I um, made an appointment so that I could have my balloon adjusted at three months. And just um, about a month, month and a half before I got the balloon, I started to feel it working again. So even though it hadn't at mid-December, um, uh, it started, well, yeah, yeah, mid-December. It started about a month before um, I got the balloon adjustment in uh, February I got my balloon adjusted so about mid January I actually got my balloon adjusted um, got my balloon to feel um, like it was working again and there were points where I thought should I even get my balloon adjusted again um, should I should I cancel the appointment but because I had already made it I went ahead and went through with it but after talking to my um, my uh, nutritionist consult uh, consultation advisor, I uh, we both agreed that I have been losing weight steadily, slowly, steadily, but in a good way, not in a too slow manner. So I opted to get a um, 650 milliliter adjustment rather than a 700 milliliter adjustment. So I went from 500 milliliters to 650 and um, I'm happy with it uh, because I kept on with the diet even though I didn't feel like the balloon was working um, it did kick in again and um, since I've gotten the adjustment it helps even that much more and at times there are times where I feel like I could eat more than I'm eating but I know that later on it won't feel good. I'll get either heartburn or, or I'll feel too full at the end of the night um, and possibly even puke. Now, throughout this process, I have not been puking 
much at all since the first week. I think maybe once in in uh, the end of November, beginning of December, I did puke, but not not since then. And <clears throat> I think it's because I've been really conscious about what I'm eating and how I'm doing this. Um, you don't go and get the balloon and just expect it to do all the work. I mean, you can expect it to, but it's not gonna work that way. And I kept a really open mind and um, and tried to remind myself that this is a, a tool that's going to help me. I think that's what's kept me going. Um, that, along with these videos, really keeping me honest with myself. Because the truth is, is I could be overeating and I could be eating the wrong foods every day um, but knowing that I'm holding myself accountable and I'm being honest with myself, I believe is really um, the backbone of my weight loss. I know that the balloon has helped um, keep me from overeating too much because later on I'll feel horrible if I eat too much. And also because um, I've trained my body to feel the balloon um, where there were points where I wasn't feeling it at all. So it's been hard work and I've had to be very conscious about what I'm doing. And I think that um, the way I've gone about it is something I can do for, um, for a, life, a lifetime. It's not something that I'm, I'm not going on some crash diet where the balloon is gonna help me eat less right now, but when I get off, um, when I get the balloon taken out, I won't feel it, I won't feel full anymore, so then I'm gonna overeat. I know that this is a lifelong commitment and this is something that I want to last forever and the changes I'm making are really um, conscious decisions. They're not just about the weight loss, they're about um, a lifelong change and to staying healthy, feeling healthy, and feeling better about myself. I know that it's easy to preach now that I've, I'm down 30 pounds, but I was doing this long before. I was doing this when I wasn't losing weight and I saw um, on Facebook people around me with the balloon losing tons and tons of weight at a time especially at the beginning losing a whole bunch of weight and I was losing you know 10 10 maybe when I got to 15 pounds and they 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 lost all of that in I don't know a week or two well that didn't happen for me I it took me much longer to lose the weight than others but I had to remind myself that this was not a comparison this wasn't about other people and I couldn't get angry with them I had to be proud of them for doing that um, not to mention it this was my commitment this was my situation I couldn't get anywhere by making excuses for myself so I think um, that's what's kept me going and I think that's what's gonna keep me going I hope it does um, I know I sound a little bit preachy today, but it's just something that's been sitting on my mind um, for a while now. And um, I just want to give you hope when things aren't going as well as they could. You have to make those changes. The balloon will not do it for you. You can gain weight on the balloon if you think you can eat whatever you want to and it's supposed to just kick in and make you full. You can stretch your, your stomach enough where you're not gonna feel full, you're gonna get you're gonna get used to eating too much. Just like I think we all did. If we've been on the balloon, we've all done that. Um, enough times where we've eaten too much over and over again and that's why we gain the weight. You can do that while on the balloon too. And um, you just have to be conscious about not doing it and training your body to see things differently and do things differently, your body and mind. So um, that's where I am today. I don't mean to be so preachy today, but it's just something that sits with me and I hope I hope helps keep you going because I know it's helped keep me motivated is just being really honest to God, um, honest, just honest with myself and even um, a little bit harsh. Reality can be harsh sometimes. And if you can't um, be honest with yourself about why you gained weight and how you gain the weight and the changes that you need to make, then I have to say the balloon is not something you're ready for. It, you have to be ready here in your mind before you'll be ready to, to really make the changes. And you might lose the weight while you have the balloon, but if you're doing it in a way that you can't stick to forever, there's a good chance you're gonna gain that weight again. 
And that's something I'm hoping um, and trying to avoid at this point. So thank you for watching. Um, I'll try to keep you updated. I know it's been a while, but um, I just graduated from uh, school and uh, I still have some, some more schoolwork to do for um, my master's. So thank you so much for um, staying uh, updated with me, watching me, and um, talk to you soon. Bye.